this is Lady G. Lady G. Lady G. Hey everybody, welcome to the special edition of Living the Vision with Lady G. That's who I be. I'm your hostess with the most is, and I'm very, very excited. We are still at the Cancer Survivor Series, and it's a concert benefiting people who are going through cancer or who have beat cancer. I'm super excited, people. We have someone that I truly, truly admire and think that God just uses him greatly. It's David McClure. He has a single out. He is giving God all the praise and glory. You may know him. He is a member of youthful praise that's jj harrison and youthful praise well he's branched out on his own and he has a single and he is telling us the greatness of god in the land of the living let me tell you something there's so much that he said in our interview it is going to bring down strongholds in your life and help you to live a victorious life that god has set for you i can't wait for you to hear all that these men of god had to share with us on the show let me tell you something you're going to be blessed go tell everybody your watching living a vision with lady g don't you touch that dial Dave McClure. Hey. What's up? A lot is up. You're on Living the Vision with Lady G. That's yes. who I be. I'm yes. your hostess with the most. Of. I'm on. What's up? I'm excited to be here. Really, I am. No, I am excited yeah. to have you here. I, we talked off camera. Yeah. Really, really enjoy your ministry yeah. and how God has blessed you greatly and tremendously to serve his people yeah. through song. Yes, God is amazing. To God be the glory. I really appreciate that. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you something, people. If you have not seen this man minister, YouTube him. Oh, Lord. Oh. <laughs> you She's shall be blessed. She's a trip. So people say. <laughs> <laughs> we just cut up on I'm this show. I'm telling you, yes. No, but yeah, I, you know, my heart is really towards God and the will of God and um, everything ter uh, concerning ministry. Mm -hmm. And so in everything you do, you got to give it 100 or don't do it at all. Come on, I love that. Best, so. You know. Like, oh, like you're doing us a favor. Oh, I have to sing uh, again. And I hate when they do that. Yeah. You, if you're going to do it, my thing is if you're going to do it, give it your all or don't do it at all. Because, uh, you know, the Bible says God loves a cheerful giver. Mm -hmm. And so just think about it. And I use this analogy a lot. Imagine the person that you fell in love with. Mm -hmm. You found out that they only loved you because they had to. How would you feel if you know it was forced love? And so my point is, if there's passion there, uh, then there's a connection. Without the passion, there's no connection. So if you're going to sing, then you ought to do it uh, and give it your all or don't do it. Or, and that that's with any topic, any uh, phase of your life. If you're going to do it, give it your all or don't do it at all. I love real quickly, don't want to run past that, where you said God loves a cheerful giver. Yeah. And we are giving him praise. Yeah. So even on Sunday morning or for me every day, yeah. Absolutely. You when you're giving God <laughs> giving God praise, mm -hmm. he's looking for a cheerful giver. A lot of yeah. people associate that with money. Right. But I like how we I have a lot of worship leaders who watch us. Mm -hmm. Just stay right there for a second yeah. and talk about being a cheerful giver. Yeah. I mean it's all about the heart. It's the matters of the heart. The Bible talks about in the Old Testament, uh, when uh Samuel was going through the lines of the children uh trying to find David to see exactly who would be king, he said, No, a man looketh at the outer appearance, but God looketh at the heart. So it's all about the contents of the heart. It's all about uh, the matter of the heart and when God loves a cheerful giver you know there should be again that passion there should be a sincerity about what you do and how you do it and so that then it becomes a natural thing that tr that transformation or manifestation of that passion it shows so I don't have to tell you you want to do it. Amen. So there's a difference. Yeah. That's awesome. So we know that you, well, we know mm. those who follow you on Instagram. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Sing Dave McClure, Instagram, <laughs> Twitter, and Facebook, Dave McClure. So, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Those of us that follow you. Yes. 
you have a brand new project. Yes. You have a brand new project that's out. Yes. Uh, we know that you have sang behind some of uh, Gospel Greatest. One of my faves, J.J. Harrison and Youthful Praise. Shout out YP, J.J. What's up, bro? Yeah. That's... One of my absolute favorites. Yeah. But God has called you mm -hmm. from, or maybe not necessarily called you, you have submitted. Yeah to the will yeah. to the vision Absolutely. that god has for your life yes. and now you have your own single out talk to us about your project yes it's uh, entitled it uh it's yours um and it deals with um coming to a place in your life where you go from uh always having god speak to you speak the bible talks about uh that in the beginning god created and then when he created he created us in his image and uh, dealing with his image, it deals with his likeness. Likeness meaning now that we have a creative ability. And so the song basically deals with now you being able to speak. So it goes from God declaring to him saying to you, what are you going to do? There's some things on the earth that God will never do because you can do it. And I get excited about that because I want people to realize it's an insult to a God who is God, omni. He's omnipresent. He's, he's omniscient, all-knowing. He's powerful. It's an insult to a God who knows knows all, sees all, can do all, and then you want him to do the little things that you can do. Right, right, right. It's an insult. Why call on him for something you can do? Right, right. We got to get into place now where we're no longer lazy, but we're putting our faith to works because the Bible says faith without works is dead. Yeah. So we've got to put our faith to work and now we need to speak. We got to declare some things. So that's what, basically what that song is about uh, getting uh, that passion again about that passion and being able to declare the word of the Lord over your life Absolutely. and speak that in this season there'll be no more delay no. there'll be no more lack no. there'll be no more issues and there'll be no more distractions because it's yours yeah. so that's basically what the song is about and it came from a place where i was in my lowest stage of life mm -hmm. brokenness um about two years ago this month uh, november 16th i lost my brother uh, he was murdered in a double homicide oh, and uh at 23 years old he was killed him and a 19 year old in his car his own car mercy. Uh, execution style Mercy. and I was at a place in my life where I became so broken and I didn't want to move I cried not just for me because I hurt but I hurt because my mother hurt mm -hmm. and back in 98 since we're dealing with the cancer thing 98 my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer mm -hmm. the, the tumor uh, grew to the size of a grapefruit Mercy, and so three pounds of mass was there and so God healed her mm -hmm. she's a testimony she's here today Glory. but we've gone through that mm -hmm. and then now to be to a place where you've finally been restored, getting you back together, getting your groove back, living. Right. You go from that to now your baby mm -hmm. is murdered and taken from you. Right. How do I help my mother who's hurting because she lost her son, her right. baby? And so I said, Lord, if you can't change this circumstance, at least make it bearable to get through. Mm -hmm. And it was in that moment my producers came to me mm -hmm. with a song and the lyrics. I didn't even care so much about the title of the song. I immediately read the content and the word said, whatever you want, mm -hmm. it's here right now. Whatever you need, mm -hmm. it's here right now. Speak and believe. Right. By faith, receive, it's yours right now. Mm -hmm. My life changed immediately. Yeah. It changed immediately because it was in that moment I received my healing and I felt like it was the Lord saying, now you can go and heal others. Mm -hmm. Last point, the Bible says in the New Testament that when Jesus spoke to Simon, he said, Simon, Simon, mm -hmm. Satan desires to sift you as wheat, right. but I prayed for you mm -hmm. that your faith faileth not. And when you are converted, when you get yours, go strengthen your brethren. Right. So it's not for you to keep. God doesn't deliver you, heal you, elevate you, promote you for you to keep it. Okay. Now you've got to go and tell somebody about what he did for you. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because, okay. hold on, because, because, okay. because, <laughs> whoa, he's in here. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay, so yeah. all of that, mm -hmm. brag on God. Yeah. He said, daughter, mm -hmm. go and brag on me. He yeah. said, I'm doing so many good things mm -hmm. for my people, yes. but nobody's telling it. Nobody's telling it. I am like the woman at the, the well. Come Run, on. tell that. Tell it. Go I tell would it. Go tell yeah. everybody yeah. of his goodness. Mm -hmm. Now, what you also said is you read the words mm -hmm. and you received. Yep. I'm talking to so many people, mm -hmm. God's people. Yeah who are not receiving his love mm -hmm. and what he has already done for us. 
Yeah, it's because sometimes, again, those distractions causes us to, I want to say, what's the word, reluctant, or it challenges us to uh, receive or prohibits us. So sometimes some distractions that are, in, are, are right in front of our face, the blessing that you're looking for, the thing that God has spoken, the love that you've been seeking for, sometimes it's difficult for us to receive because we're so focused with the noise, the noise. There's so much uh, distractions in the atmosphere that when God is actually making deposits, I'm so focused on... On the pain that I forget to receive my healing and so healing is abundance it's abundance of us but we're so focused on this this becomes this rather than knowing the opposite is this I'll give you more healing than you've ever uh, experienced sickness I'll give you more pleasure than you've ever had pain but you have to understand those things the benefits of the spirit you know those are certain things that God gives but we're so distracted because of what's around us what we don't have we we take we don't take out the time to celebrate what he's already given given us and what's about to come because if you knew what was about to come you wouldn't be as silent as you are oh one more thing because the bible says i'm just stuck for a moment the bible says that elijah said to the servant he says i need you to go to the mountain Mm -hmm. and i need you to scope out what i've been hearing Mm -hmm. he said because i hear the sound of abundance of rain he says and i want you to see what i hear Mm-hmm. The the servant came back and says, but I don't see it. He says, go look again. Mm-hmm. If we had an inkling of what God was about to do, mm-hmm. we would already be in position because we know we would understand and know that what's about to come is greater than what's been. Mm-hmm. You have not seen nothing yet. Even for you, you have not seen nothing yet. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, has not even entered into the heart of man. The thing that the Lord has prepared for them that love him. God has something amazing in store in this season yes. and it's happening now yes, it is. it's happening now that's right it's yours it's ours and you know what what you said earlier i want to go back so many nuggets listen yeah. y'all mm-hmm. rewind this listen. okay because this is some lot of good nuggets gonna bring down a lot of strongholds in your minds what you what you were saying about um uh about declaring mm-hmm. he said daughter mm-hmm. stop praying mm-hmm. and start declaring mm-hmm. I don't know what do you mean? He's like, you praying about yeah. something that I told you to speak over. Just saying. And see, that's that's graduation. Mm-hmm. That's when you've graduated where he says, I can trust you with more because mm-hmm. I know you'll handle the glory I've given you. Mm-hmm. When you are glory carriers, there is a level of authority that he gives you that he says, you don't have to walk over the mountain. Mm-hmm. You can speak to it. That's when you know you're a glory carrier. He says, and I've given you a level of authority with this promotion where you can go from asking to declaring, from declaring to celebrating. And so it's about being trusted. Can he trust you with what he's given you and given in your hands? And if you can handle this, then you'll maintain what's coming. What the show is, is having people, Mm -hmm. giving them the tools they need, Mm -hmm. the perception they need, the perspective they need Mm -hmm. to be able to live out God's vision for your life. Because when you are caught up in the noise and you're caught up in the distraction and you're caught up in all these other things and not accepting the the heavenly perspective Mm -hmm. where oh yes you're unfortunately your family experienced yet another tragedy right. but when God brought you mm-hmm. healing yes. you received it mm-hmm. now I'm throwing this song away don't mm-hmm. one you received it I am uh, have been com- campaigning for years about moments mm-hmm. and you may not have heard this before but I wanted to say to y'all that are that are listening to the listeners moments uh, seasons are promised mm-hmm. right the Bible says to everything there's a season right. And and time to every purpose under the heaven. So everybody has a season. You have a season. I have a season. Your enemies have a season. Your neighbors have a season. Everybody has a season. He says, uh, but it goes from seasons, which are promise, Mm -hmm. to moments, which are prophetic. And so what happens is the distractions comes right when there's a moment happening. Mm -hmm. I prove it to you. The Bible says in the New Testament at the pool of Bethesda, there was a man that was sick Mm -hmm. and there was a certain time, a certain moment that would come where the angel would come and trouble the water. So that means you had to pay attention and be aware Mm -hmm. so that you didn't miss your moment when it came time to being healed. And so what happens is we are in a season of healing, but it may not be your moment. Mm -hmm. And so what happens in the moment can determine what happens next. 
Just imagine what you pull and you make. If you make deposits in moments while it's your season, mm -hmm. it catapults that moment into your next moment, mm -hmm. into your next. It becomes perpetual. Mm -hmm. And so we need to not just be aware, but we need to be prophetically inclined and sensitive to what God is doing and where he is, right. not where he was. More. where he is so if there's just a movement but not a moment i'm concerned for you because mm -hmm. there's a lot of movement happening mm -hmm. but there's not a lot of moments right. lives are not being changed right. bodies are not being healed right. because there's a lot of movements happening not a lot of moments listen man of god yeah. so good yeah i myself yeah. i'm going to go back because what you just gave us were words of life mm -hmm and how to live a victorious yeah. life, mm -hmm. and how to live a, dr a thriving, mm -hmm. not just surviving, yeah. woe is me, yeah. a thriving yeah. life, victorious life mm -hmm. in Christ, yeah. so that we can live out God's vision for our life yeah. and know that it's yours. It's yours. <laughs> this is the season to receive. It's yours. Amen. Listen. I have enjoyed this, my peoples. I know you have as well. We're going to give all of his social media handles and you would wear every, they can get your um, single anywhere. Everywhere, right? everywhere digi uh, digital uh, music right. is sold. Amazon, Google Play, iTunes, wherever. Go get it. That's right. You know what? Saved. L listen, it's a couple of bucks. Go and get it yeah. so that you can be blessed. Oh, yeah. Listen, we have a lot more show in store for you, my yes. peoples. We thank you so much for joining us thank on you. Living the Vision with Lady G. Yes. I'll be right back. I appreciate it. God bless you. This is Pastor Danny Sutton, and this is your visionary moment. Uh, the word of God says in the book of James chapter one that patience must have her perfect work in you. Most people, when we refer to patience, we think about things that possibly just get on our nerves or possibly even maybe stress us out. But today I want you to consider that there are two valuable assets that come along with patience. First of all, patience has to do with some self control. It identifies what's happening within you, saying that the situation outside of you doesn't control you, but that you can control it. And the second area or the second attribute I think that controls with pay comes along with patience is something called staying power, where you learn to hold on and ground yourself in whatever the activity it is and whatever the goal is and whatever the accomplishment is, you ground yourself in it, not looking to leave before it is time. If you take these two things and apply them to your everyday life, I can guarantee you that patience will have its perfect work in your life. And when it works for you, guess what? You won't lack anything. And I believe that that's where God wants to take you. Get self-control, but also some staying power so that you can complete all that God has for you. I pray you hold on to this visionary moment. Hey, what's up? I am Todd Delaney. This is Pastor Mark Collier. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jermaine Dolly, Mr. Hello Dolly himself. I am Real Talk Kim. Hi, I'm Miranda Willis, and you're watching Living the Vision with Lady G. My girl, Lady G. Lady G. Lady G. You're living the vision with my homegirl, Lady G. Hi, this is Pastor Key, and I was lost until I started watching Living the Vision with the one and only Lady G.